Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux tutorial, tool showcase, whatever I feel like doing for a midweek video, this is it. This video was inspired by a fellow YouTuber and Linux user, his name is Beers88. That says user ID on there. I suggest you all go and look at his website. That is spelled B-I-E-R-C-E-8-8. -E and I believe I have him listed in my favorites channels on my main page. And if he is not listed there, I will be making sure that he is there. So if you can't find him by just typing that into YouTube, then you can also... Go to my page and see if you can link to him there. But he informed me recently of a command line interface to YouTube. And this is a great tool. Let me tell you, it, it bypasses the internet browser. It bypasses having to use Flash. And that makes it so much better. It, what it does pretty much is, like I said, it's a command line interface to the YouTube web and then it streams the video through that command line interface to a player for you. And that really has saved me a lot recently. Once you get used to the interface, it runs pretty well. There are a lot of options to go over some things that you got to remember and once you get used to it and if you're not afraid of command line interface this can become a very good tool for you now I know it works in Arch and I know that there's a package in Gen 2 and since I'm a Gen 2 user here all you have to do to get this is do and make sure you get your caps off emerge-av youtube-viewer now I've already installed this and tested it and tried to learn it as best I could before I got into doing this video for you. As you can see, yeah, you've got simple scripts here and there were just a few other, I believe it's Perl based type scripts, there were a few other Perl scripts that had to install for me for dependencies. Those are all done. We're going to go ahead and say no. When you first log in to YouTube Viewer, you're going to type in YouTube dash viewer and you can either do a dash dash login or once you have it started you can do a colon login to log into your account. I've already logged in and I don't want to put my email address and all that stuff on there so we're just going to go ahead and log in this way. Now the first command that you're always going to want to know and that tells you right here is the colon H and let's make that screen a little bit bigger so you guys can see that maybe we can even make my console a little bigger too so hopefully that shows up a little bit better for you there we go so colon H is gonna give you a lot of your basic commands here and that's just your your starting set you'll find more commands as you search for videos on the list and the first thing that the simplest way to get started is to just type in a search for a video uh, for instance if you're looking for my videos you type in Dust Gregor if you want them to be colorized you can hit the capital C I'll show you what happens if you don't everything's just in grayscale at this point you could hit dash C and it colorizes it, makes it a little bit easier to see the title of the video. The, of course, author is in yellow, and how long it is is in blue. So, if you wanted to watch one of these videos, the first and simplest thing would be to just type the number of the video that you're looking for. So, we will watch my Uber student back in the days, one of my first Hello, videos. Hello, YouTubers. It's Doss Gregor. There you go. Yeah, now if you want to go full screen, you'd hit F. Review on a Linux distribution. F again. And I then thank you, all. you can close it out. You saw how fast that popped up and just started playing. 
Well, it's not just that. We could do, say, seven for the intro. Maybe. There it goes. Very easy. It comes right up. Now, a few t things I wanted to bring up. If you wanted to make it so that it does not remember your login, you can tell it not to remember it. Or when you're done, you can do a colon logout and it logs you out of YouTube within this command line interface. If you were looking for a playlist, you would type in your search, such as, say, Gen2 in review, which is one of my playlists, and you can put a dash P, and there should be my Gen 2 in review playlist. There's 20 videos in there, you can see, and that's number one. And then you could choose number one, and it'll show you all the videos that you can look at. Another one to remember is if you need to return to a previous section, it's colon R. When you want to quit, you can use colon Q. If you decide while you're visiting a channel that you really like what they're doing, then you can also subscribe to their channel. Now you type in colon subscribe equals and then the number. For instance, say for instance you watched Gen 2 in Review by Dos Gregor and you said, hey that Dos Gregor, he's kind of a funny looking guy and he's definitely got a face for radio. Yeah, I've heard that before. Anyway, <laughs> then you would say you wanted to subscribe to him, you'd do a colon subscribe equals one and that would subscribe you to Dos Gregor. Another thing is if there are multiple items then it's only going to show sometimes a certain set. For instance if we searched say on we'll just say Gen 2 so we type in Gen 2 and it shows 20. Now certainly there's more than 20 videos on YouTube about Gen 2 so then we do colon in and we see some more videos by by that and you can just keep doing that or if you want to go oh no I want to look back at that one previously you do colon B and we're back at the first set of videos that were listed now if you just want to continue with that listing I believe you can also just hit the enter key and it will go on two very good things to remember another nice feature of the YouTube viewer is it makes it very easy to download something so for instance if we did another search on Dos Gregor to bring up my videos again and we see that we are still in playlists and you know what I'm not sure how to get out of playlists just yet. I'm still learning. Oh, yeah, let's try colon R. Now, we want to do a Dos Gregor. And we're still in playlists. I'm still learning all this, too. So, when in doubt, get out. Go back in. Get my caps locks off. There we go, a dash C. Simple as that, we're back in here. Now, say you really like that nifty 14 minute intro and you wanted to download it, so you do colon D equals, and that is doo -doo 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 -doo, number seven. And just like that, we've now downloaded the intro. And you can now watch it for your viewing pleasure at your own time at another time very handy now another cool feature here is the colon C if you want to leave a comment on a video you would do a colon C equals X and X being of course the number of the video you want to leave a comment on and you can leave a comment now there are a lot of other features here and if you do a, a colon H while in a search like this you will see that if we scroll up a little bit you know, there are a few more options than what we saw before. 
searching for YouTube videos, play a video by URL, list a playlist of YouTube videos. Yeah, the next and back we've discussed, the log in, log out. There's some more things within the YouTube section here. For instance, you can actually like or dislike a video you know, by typing in either dis colon dislike or colon like equals the number of the video. You can favorite a video by just typing in colon FAV or I believe you could probably spell out the whole favorite and then the number of the video equals the number of you. You can also set it up so it plays multiple videos in a queue by typing in, for instance, um, 3-8 or 3 dot dot 8. Or if you want to reverse the order of the videos, you can do 8-3 or 8 dot dot 3. There are a lot of different things that you can do within the YouTube viewer that makes viewing YouTube videos so much better than having to be in the web interface. Now I have tried this outside of the GUI. Now right now I'm in KDE and it does not work. It does require you still to be in Xorg to be able to use this. So it at least it does right now. I don't know if there's a way to get something like a console frame buffer that would allow you to then view it within a command line interface that's strictly uh, non-GUI. But at this point in time, the only thing I know to do is to use it within a console like this inside of the GUI. However, it makes for so much easier viewing. I have fewer hiccups. There have been a few times when I've started a video and it's popped up, played for a little bit, and kicked me out. I had to restart it. Now, the same kind of things um, when you're in a video, for instance, uh, I believe... It's it's very good. For instance, if we wanted to watch Corora here, we'll pull it up, and Hello, YouTube. my it's goodness, look at that hairy beard. Did my beard really get that long? But if you hit the left or the right arrow, for instance, you can fast forward through the video. And if you needed to rewind, you could do that. If you needed to pause, you should be able to hit the space key to pause. And as I said, full screen is the F. And of course, you have your minimize, max, uh, maximize, and your close window right there. My goodness! One of these days, I'm gonna grow my beard that long again. I liked it like that, actually. <laughs> but those are some of the in-screen or in-video commands that you may want to know about. You know, there are other things in here that you can do that will show you. For instance, when it first starts to play the video. You'll see that it tells you who the author is, the category, how long it is, what type of a rating it has, how many likes it has, how many dislikes, how many times someone's favored it, how many views it's had, um, and of course when it was published. Now there are some other commands in there that will let you get more information about a user and more information about a video and display that as well. All in all though, this is a cool tool and I'm going to begin to use it much more often than going to the internet and viewing it through the flash and all that other junk that just causes problems. So I hope you guys will try the YouTube viewer out. I hope you like it. I hope it works well for you. Give it a try. See what it does. Let me know your experience and if you find anything cool that you want to share with other users that might want to use YouTube Viewer. So as I always say, if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for being such loyal subscribers and enjoying my videos, which I hope you do. Until next time, have a great time. Bye, guys.